guys, it's Mackenzie and welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to be doing my favorite slime recipe, so let's just get started. The ingredients you're going to need are white PVA glue, baking soda, contact lens solution, food coloring, something to mix in, and something to mix with. Now let's get started. Alright, so sorry if you can't see this very well, but this is the best I can get it. So the first step we're going to do is pour in our glue. However much slime you want is how much glue you're going to pour in. Oh my gosh, that was thunder. Yeah. Wow. Alright. So. Yeah, it was. That's how much I'm making. Sorry, you can't see it very well, but. All right, next we are going to add our food coloring. I'm going to do, oops. Oh, sorry, kind of got stuck in there. Okay, I'm going to be doing one drop of red to make a light pink. You can do whatever color you want though, or you could just leave it white. I'm just going to mix that. Until it's the color I want. So I like that color. And then now... Camera is set up on the big one. So I'm just going to... Uh, it's really thundering outside. I'm just going to add the baking soda, but I can't show you because my camera was set up on the baking soda. So you don't want to add too much or else your sun will be very grainy. I learned from experience. That was kind of a lot, but whatever. I'm just going to add a little bit more glue because I accidentally put too much baking soda. That is what you do if you put too much baking soda, add more glue. Or more of other ingredients like shaving cream. Jeez, it's really thundering outside. Alright, so now I'm going to get you back set up and we'll do the contact solution. Alright, now we're going to add our contact lens solution and this is the thing that's going to turn it into slime. Any brand will work and if you don't have this, you can use... Tide laundry detergent, you could use borax, you can use liquid starch, um, or any other slime activator that you have at home. This is just what I have on hand, so that's what I'm going to be using. So, you want to pour in little by little. You don't want to do too much, because if you do too much, it might be too much at first. So you just want to pour it in little by little, and you can see it's already starting to form. trying to have you guys see a little bit better so yeah sorry if you can't see very well but I'll like okay that's even worse hold on all right guys so this is kind of a close view but it's the best that I got so we're just going to keep adding our contact lens solution little by little And you can see it's starting to form into slime. Ah. It's really probably hard for you to see because it's really close up. And then you can touch it. If it's still a little bit sticky, like mine's still pretty sticky, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Mix. Oops. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So once your slime is getting very hard to mix, you can um start kneading. Now, this if your slime is still sticky, don't do this because it's gonna get your um hands super sticky and messy. And so if it's still a little bit sticky for you, 
Like, mine's not too bad, but if it's still a little bit sticky, add just a touch more contact lens solution. And also remember when you need it, um, it's going to get less sticky too. So I'm just going to kind of grab it out. Oh gosh. And start kneading. As you can see, it's kind of sticking to me a little bit. That's okay. I've had ones that stick much worse. So. Yeah, so it's a little bit sticky still, so I'm just going to add a little bit more solution. And then it won't be sticky anymore. And then if you got some extras in the bowl, just take your slime that you have and press it on and it will get it out. Let me move so you guys can see better. And then it cleans out the bowl real quick. This isn't a lot of slime because it was a small bowl and it couldn't really do much. Um, I forgot this step, but if you want it stretchier, add some lotion. I forgot that. Oopsies. Um, yeah, I'll kind of do a quick little, you know, SMA. Some contact solution there. If it's kind of really sticky, you can put some contact solution on your surface, and it will... It's not super stretchy because I forgot the lotion. But I really like it. This is my favorite slime recipe. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah, I love playing with it. It's so fun to play with. It's such an early switch, stretchy. <laughs> is that on my chin? Yeah. Um, and it's not very messy. I didn't make a mess at all. Which is actually pretty surprising. So I'm going to make another slime just like this real quick and I'll come back to you. Because I want to show you guys the other one. Oh, and I forgot I want to show you this. So it's all over the spoon and then you can just kind of like, like that. Tap it and then it gets it all off. So yeah, it's very non-messy, which I really like. All right, and now I'm going to make the other one. All right, guys. So I made the other slime. This is it. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to just kind of like show you both of them. And this one's better right now because I just made it. And this one's kind of been sitting out for a little bit, but they're both pretty good. And I'm going to show you a quick ASMR. Alright, now, the final step for this pink one, I'm going to make it stretchier because it's not very stretchy. This blue one is really stretchy, but this pink one is not very stretchy or pokey. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up this bowl with very hot water 
and soak this in here and knead it in the water until it gets stretchy again. So I'll be back when I've done that. After you've done the hot water thing, you should have this. If you followed all these steps, you should have jiggly slime. Very, very jiggly. And you should have normal stretchy slime. Yay! So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make jiggly slime and stretchy slime, my favorite kinds of slime. I also like fluffy slime. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and in the comments below, um, say what your favorite kind of slime is. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Make sure to subscribe.